It is a great honor and a great privilege for me to be here and to greet you. So, first of all, I want to express my sincere gratitude to the General Office of the Presbyterian Church for inviting me to this General Assembly as an ecumenical advisory delegate. And uh, as, um, as an ecumenical advisory delegate, I represent here the Orthodox Church of Christ, the Church that has an unbroken, unchanged, and unreformed tradition. And our, yes, <laughs> well, and another thing, I would, was really uh, struck uh, while listening to your discussion about moral issues. Christian morality, as, uh, Christian morality is as old as Christianity itself. It doesn't need to be invented now. And those attempts to invent new morality look, for me, like attempts to invent a new religion, a sort of modern paganism. <clears throat> when people say that they are led and guided by the Holy Spirit to do it, I wonder if it is the same Holy Spirit that inspired the Bible, if it is the same Holy Spirit that inspires the Holy Orthodox Church not to change anything in Christian doctrine and moral standards. But it, if it is the same spirit, I wonder, or perhaps there are different spirits acting in different denominations and inspiring them to develop in different directions, created different theologies and different morals. My desire is that all Christians should contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints, as St. Jude calls us to do. And my advice is, as an ecumenical delegate, my advice is the following. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yes, the words of St. Paul. Anyway, I thank you for your kindness, for your love, hospitality, and of course, for your attention.